Developing now problems in the Department of Veterans Affairs and efforts to repair the damage. There's now a new website set up so we can hear from South Mississippi veterans about the treatment they've received. What's well, one way to help ensure that our vets receive the best care possible. Joining me now with details is Congressman Stephen Palazzo. Good morning. Good morning, Rhonda. Thank you for having me. Yeah, the problems continue to surface, but now I know everybody's trying to do what they can to repair these problems. What are you doing specifically mm -hmm. for South Mississippi veterans? Well, everywhere we go, we hear stories mainly about from veterans about the VA, the way they were treated, the wait times, finding you know the health care wasn't up to par. And of course, this has become a national scandal. It's one that's been dropped at President Obama's feet. We've seen Shinseki resign. Of course, we called for his resignation or his termination. Um, but that's just the first start. What we're doing here at home is we're trying to collect as many stories as possible. So we're having a veterans town hall on July 7th and July 8th. July 7th is going to be at the Hattiesburg uh, VFW from 4 to 6. And on July 8th, it's going to be at the Biloxi VFW from 9 to 11. And so veterans that are interested should attend one of these forums, share their stories, but you also have another venue for the veterans to share their stories. Right. They can go to palazzo.house.gov. We have a link on our website where they can contact us, and it's, of course it's going to be kept private. Uh, they can call us. They can email us. And I mean, we, we've been doing this for four years, and our number one issue that we handle on behalf of South Mississippians are uh, VA-related issues. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we were talking earlier about um, these veterans' forms. You're also not only going to hear stories from these veterans, but you're going to provide them with some resources that can, might be available. Can, absolutely. Connect them to the resources. We're kind of partnering with the VFW, the American Legion, Combat uh, Wounded Warrior Veterans of South Mississippi, and other groups. We're going to have the veteran service organizations there. So we're going to, we're going to basically talk about what we're doing in Washington, D.C. to fix the problems at the VA and hold them accountable from, A, first of thing is we're going to make sure the VA doesn't receive bonuses for <laughs> providing horrible health care to our veterans, but also we're working to make sure that VA veterans can also obtain private health care if they live a certain distance away from the VA or they're not being seen as, as fast as they believe they should be seen. And so we're going we're gonna to talk about how our office is not only there to help advocate for the veterans and the assistance that we provide, but also connect them with other agencies that are tasked with helping and serving veterans as well. You plan to share these stories with Congress? Uh, I do, I do. We plan on um, to not only cataloging the stories, but also holding the Veterans Administration accountable for, for their failure to serve our nation's veterans. Congressman Stephen Palazzo, thanks Thank for you. joining us this morning. My pleasure.